23. It's a 40M. I'll give you a close up here of the floor plan. And uh, we'll show you the show price, but this is the only the show price. Don't expect to get this elsewhere. These are special prices just for the show. We have the radio on. I'll see if I can, uh, as I go into it, I'll see if I can turn it off. We do have some two-tone seats as we enter. Nice tile floor. Hopefully you can hear me. Let me see if I can find the uh, radio control here. There we go. I'm going to just turn it down a little bit. Okay, here is the dash and the side. Nice big display there. We have our normal TV and two cabinets. This is this coach is actually more in a brown uh, pecan style. I'm guessing I don't know the color. I'll look on the uh, screen when we go out. There's a Monda just right there on the thing. We have, I'll give you a look down the coach here. You see, very pretty, lots of windows. Brown and kind of a very, very light gray. There's uh, three cabinets overhead the theater seating. They are pass through, about a foot in depth. They do have electrical controls for the recliners. And of course, the theater seating is directly across from the TV set. And a sofa here that is, that looks like it's a pull-out trifold. We do have the TV, and on either side of the TV, there's two little cabinets, believe it or not, and two little uh, adjustable shelves so you can change it. Not sure, you can put some CDs in there, yeah, you're really old, some VHSs. Sound bars above, and then two uh, deeper cabinets on either side. Moving over, this is the dining area. Two chairs, the table which extends. And let's see here some of the specifics on the Armanda so that you can read them if you like. I'm not going to read all that. We do have a couple drawers underneath the credenza area. There are two that are about a foot deep, and a larger one that's uh, probably six, seven, eight inches deep and uh, about it goes back about a foot and then you have the nice credenza some people actually use this area here they can do an l-shaped desk with their computer monitor another computer monitor so it makes a nice little workstation except you really don't have a place to put your feet because of that if they would move those two drawers which you could easily do you could have a nice space for your feet and actually really use this as a workstation or two workstations above it you had the same canvas three of them Lovely picture with a mantle, and there's the fireplace going, which we need because I think it's about 35 degrees out and I have been freezing. Okay, nice uh, ceiling light. And now the peacock kind of reminds me of an old fashioned color, but I kind of like it because it's not really dark and it's not really light like the whites. I'm not a big fan of the whites, although they look very pretty. And if you have no grandkids and things like that, dogs and cats, maybe the white works for you. But we've got a cabinet on this side of the microwave, adjustable shelves, probably about 15 inches deep. And there is your convention microwave, along with another cabinet. Right below that cabinet is our sink. There's the backsplash there, very pretty gray. And it is a farm style sink. Looks like a really big induction top stove. It does have two nice covers on it, which I'm holding one side and uh, keeps it clean and gives you extra cutting space. Or if you're preparing a salad or something, it does have pullouts right there. And then, of course, the island that comes out and it should have a really long drawer. Eh, not too, too long, but there you go. You get the idea. Over here, we have the dishwasher. You hear that little dilly? I love that. It's just so sweet. And there's a drawer there. We do have a pantry right next to the sink. The pulled out pantry. And it slides out, so that's very nice. And there's one another one right below it. Looks like a nice little saw there. Okay. And of course, right next to the pantry is your residential sink. <laughs> residential refrigerator. Doesn't look like a sink, does it? I need another cup of coffee, folks. Um, okay, 
I tried to get here early so we could uh, see these without too many people, and I like scaring them off. Some people see the camera and I go, ah! Anyway, there is the residential sink. And folks, if you like this video, it's free to, to subscribe. Where else can you subscribe and get something without paying a dime? We're it, so please subscribe. Anyway, we have a two-area uh, freezer, which is very nice. And over here we have our half bath. Yes, we have a half bath. So this is a bath and a half model. And we do have cabinet over the sink. Again, toilet. Definitely need to get that coffee. And uh, all I brought with me is water. We got two cabinets there in the medicine cabinet. They're only about four inches deep, but enough to put your pill bottles, shampoos, and stuff like that. And then over here is the bottom. We just had the one cabinet below the sink. So, so basically, it's decorated in brown and gray. Now comes the fun part. I love the master bedroom. Look at these nice, it's very symmetrical. You can see the TV's in the middle. It's got two long mirror cabinets on the side. And then the shelves and bureau is in the middle. So a nice long mirror cabinet. And with the, with the bed extended, there is like a lot of space. So you actually can go back and really see your length if you're wearing that evening bowl to the campfire tonight. So there's the extra chairs for the pull-out uh, dining room table. Got a couple of adjustable shelves down here below. And you also have a stationary shelf up above. Both sides are the same, so I'm just gonna show you the one. You've got two smaller drawers on the top of the bureau, probably almost two feet long, maybe 18 inches to 24. And then the bigger drawers, I like that. They are from fingertip to my elbow, whatever how long that is, folks. Maybe that should be my new measurement. I'll have to measure that sometime. Over here is our king size bed with, I wonder how many people really sleep with all these pillows. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but we throw them off. There are three cabinets above. I'm not gonna crawl back there and get it. To the side, we just have an outlet and a small little end table. Now let's go on the other side, see if there's a drawer or anything. Nope, just another outlet and a small end table area. Hey, look at this bathroom. All right, I know where to start. Let's see here. There's our egress window and our toilet. And there are some shelves. Some of them are adjustable. This one here is fixed. So there you go. That's probably about five inches deep. Love the backsplash here. Kind of dark if you don't like dark, but I do like that. It is a double vanity sink with the pecan cabinets also. And on either side, you do have your space below the uh, sink, along with four drawers. Let's see how deep they are. Okay, there you go. It's pretty good. It's got two mirrored medicine cabinets, one on each side. It does have the, adjust the fixed shelves. They're not adjustable. And they are a lot more, maybe three inches deep. You do have an outlet on either side. You also have a small drawer at the bottom of this nice middle console that divides the two sinks. And you've got one, two, three adjustable shelves. Okay, let's take a look at the shower. Looks very fancy. It's tiled. It's got the middle trim piece. Let's see if I can open it. So yeah, it has a seat in there. I have to have a seat, folks. I love the seat, but it is all tiled. Very nice. Okay. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this tour with me, and uh, don't forget to start all your adventures with the RV Keys. <laughs>